Don't pretend that you can see a difference. You can't. Full frame smartphone technology has arrived and we've enabled it. Our tone of hearts have been blushed. Is there any chance that you're confused? Which one is the Sony a7S III? Which is the Huawei P40 Pro? I ain't looking at you. Giving that away. Who has the blurrier background? Who is the better image? We'll find out. Oh, we'll test. We'll go outside. We'll do stuff. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I hope there's some of you down there. Be honest that you thought that that was the Sony a7S III. Are you kidding yourself? We, I'm in aperture mode, which is we're at a Tony 0.95 equivalent, but it's only 1080p and it looks like trash. I tried to cripple the Sony. I tried hard. I put it in 1080p and active stay bond. For some reason, we're cropping over here. So I matched it with the Tamron of way. Let me give some light advantage. How you doing now? There's the fan. Hopefully you can't hear it. Hopefully you're distracted by the sound of my cat trying to get in a plastic bag all morning. The main difference between these modes on the Sony, you lean in, tone factor increases back to normal. Huawei, it just stays the same and it's always really bad and things happen. Wow. I just ordered and am returning. I got more USB-C to 3.5 mil cables. They work for the headphones. And then I plug in my TRRS to TRRS. Did I say that? Oh God. I got the Rode adapter. And I also have that Sennheiser shotgun mic, which has the TRRS cable for smartphones. And none of it worked. It was just pure silence. Silence of the lambs in my semen. I waited so long for that to show up here weeks in anticipation. And then it came disappointing. So now how, I have a solution, but it's not great. It's just a wind muff on the side of this. It's like a sock. And then you get okay audio, but it's stereo. I want a lav mic and there's no way to do it. Help. Help. Okay, how about now? I just got out of that stupid aperture mode. We're in 4K. I'm happy with the image. As long as I desaturate it and add a Fuji Eterna LUT, we're good to go. But are we now competing at all? I've just, I've noticed terrible things happening indoors. No, there should be slight amount of natural tone in now. Tiny, tiny amount. But enough for outside. I'm happy. It's just the audio solution. There is none. But out in the field, the smartphone might just have some advantages. It should have better stay for sure. It might have better fake dynamic range. Why do I talk like this? I should be arrested. So we're on the Tamron 17 to 28 right now. Let's switch to the 20 mil Sony 1.8. Go outside for a little vlogging test because that's what you're all aspiring to do in life. Vlogging. It's 2021. People like to talk to a camera walking down the street because it's not dangerous times, not in America. Nothing bad happening over there. Safe, really one of the safer countries right now. Lots of fun things happening, people getting elected, no confusion about it. I'm gonna leave. Don't pretend. If you saw a difference, you'd say something, but there isn't. You don't, you don't see anything. Smartphones have caught up. There's no reason to buy a camera now, as you can see. I am proving it. I switch sides so the phone's on your left, Sony on your right. And yes, the whole entire shot was 24p on the Sony inside and 30p on the Huawei, because that's what you want to do. That's what a professional would do, and that's what I did. So now we're both back in 30p. Who handles it? Is one handling it more? Who's handling that? Is anybody handling life? If you're curious and want to look at each other, this is what we got going on with the Huawei. <laughs> with that little thing, that furball is for my Zoom H1 I bought years ago. It fits perfectly over it. It's just a little awkward to press the record button. You got to pull it back a bit. How's the audio of the Huawei? It's pretty good. It's a little gusty, barely. But I find there was, I made a vlog on my other channel downtown 
not one rumbling of wind noise with this thing. It's just when some cars go by, bad things happen. Good timing, buddy. Good timing. You too? You too? Alrighty. As you noticed, I'll replay that with the lav mic. You too? Alrighty. As you noticed, we got a dog meeting. We got dog meetings here. They're excited to see each other. Long lost friends. They're not afraid of the virus. <laughs> Alright, we do a little stabilization test. Sony has the black pro mist filter on, which helps with stabilization. That's why people use it. How is it? I find on Sony, if you do, you're just like, this is a very relaxing pace. You're good. You pick it up, it gets shaky. Whereas on phone boy, you don't really have to do much. You don't have to change. It's very stable. It doesn't look weird. There might be the odd warpy thing. Was that warpy? It's doable. I find in the harsh sunlight, the phone doesn't do so good. A cloudy day is best. It's your only hope. And then you're all right. But uh, Sony just handles it. Although it doesn't really. You get in the dark and shit. It's like, oh yeah, I'm exposed. Actually, I am. Perfectly. Wow. Sony, how do you do it? The main annoyance is the audio is out of sync with its own internal system of audio. It just leaps out. And I found, don't ever zoom in while recording. That's what throws it out even worse. It's like a good 15 seconds mixed. Wow. Whereas the Sony in that situation, would you have wowed us the same? I have a feeling like in this moment, shadow sun look. Huawei's better, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, let's see who has better 240 frames per second slow-mo as a garbage truck chases you down and almost kills you as you cross a street. that battle one of you I'm sure we switch to the wide lens now I find the colors shift it's like the main lens the best one with the largest sensor is worse in the color factory I'm curious to see how the mate 40 is because I know they changed the color science hopefully it's better I should just cancel that order it's taken like a month to ship it's so annoying and let me just rant for a second on the a7s People are saying, you should get this smartphone or that one. iPhone Pro 12 Max. That wasn't backwards. I hate it. I tried the 11 Pro. It was a nightmare. If you're a PC owner, don't even bother getting an Apple product. They don't communicate. You have to jump through hoops to get your files off onto the computer. It's a pain in the bitch. And the quality is terrible. In my opinion, the iPhone 12, it has worse colors, even though these are kind of oversaturated. The iPhone's 10 times worse, and so is the Samsung. And then you got like flashing in the skies and shit. And then there's slow motion, not even, come on now. 7,000 frames per second. I found its only use is pigeons in flight. And it works when you get it. I'll try to find one.
this is the one. I did a bunch of research. This has the largest sensor for the main camera, but also the ultra wide camera, which we're on now, also has a big sensor, kind of. It's like a one over one fifth, instead of like GoPro's one over two sixths, proven by science. The sensor in that main one is almost a one inch sensor as the highlights bloom into our hearts. Philip Bloom would want it that way. Can we get sun stars on a black pro mist? You bet we can. Sun oh God, no we can't. So if you're thinking of getting a smartphone for video, the only downside is you can't use Google services, which really is a pain in the ass because I can't get anything. Like I have a scale at home that measures your body fat and I have this app that goes with it. I can't download that. I can't use my scooter app with it. I can't download a damn thing. There's workarounds, but the ones I'm seeing take forever and you gotta download this thing and just install that and run this and I don't got time for that. I have a feeling cameras and smartphones had a boardroom meeting about who's better. That shouldn't be allowed to happen. Oh, hey, little guy, what's that you got there? Is it a camera? You guys have cameras now? Well, look at that thing. That's cute. That is cute. Thank you. It's convenient. It's always on you. It's in your pocket. Where's yours? Your camera looks a little big. Do people carry that with them to work on field trips? How are sales? Sales are good. They're down a little bit right now. It's a strange time to be alive. It's not that people don't want really good cameras. It's not that they can't carry them with them. They're not heavy, they're not bulky. You see, we have the smallest full frame, kind of, kind of. Your image quality is nice, it's just, is it worth it? The tremendous extra effort it takes to bring something like you with a human being. I mean, we're all just looking at our images on computer screens, can't really see it. I don't print murials, do you? It's not about murials, like low light performance. What do you do then at nighttime? That's when I shine. That's when I take over. Do you though? I have something called night mode. Have you heard of it? It takes 1000 calculations per algorithm. And I outdo you in the night, in the day, in bed. That's cute and all for like kids' birthday parties and stuff at night. Why are you letting your child stay up so late? That's the real question here. But for professional work, you might want to grab a real camera. I don't know, just saying. Can you make phone calls to your mother, perhaps, to tell her that you care, that you just want to say thanks for being the best mom ever? Just to let her know that she didn't fail, not on this, not on you, that you love her, that you wish she was here right now playing ping pong with you. Can you tell her that? I would have to pass along the message through, would you tell my mom that, please? The sun went behind the tree during my meeting. Oh, this bullshit. I had perfect lighting. It was established. I was a cinematographer. How do you do it, Sony? You track the eye through the glasses, even though they're non-prescription and worn only to bring dignity to my vlogging hobo life. I was curious about the night mode and the low light. I took two sets of pictures, one almost pitch black, in my kitchen, there's like no lights here. If you could see it back there, you see it right now. It's dark. Side by side, which is which? Are you seeing it? Sony on your left, the phone on your right. Obviously the Sony has this better quality look to it, but it's much noisier. And the Huawei, there's like no noise whatsoever. It took like 12 seconds. So it's kind of cheating. I could have just done that on the Sony slow shutter mode, but Honestly, look at that. It still looks cheap, the phone image, but it did much better in low light. Then I took it to another level. I went to the bathroom. There was no lights in there. Side by side, which do you think is the better image? Who did better in pitch black? I flipped it on you. Sony's on your right, Huawei on your left. And again, this one took 50 something seconds on the Huawei phone. Oh, that's boy. The phone has the much cleaner image, but again, I could have just done that on the Sony, but I was too lazy to replicate the result. I couldn't even autofocus on either of them. I suck. Oh, Fuji, look at you. We're just lit by the dim tungsten bulbs of our past. I don't mind it. 
back to our regular schedule program. If the good camera could flip to the front and then we see ourselves, we would have something special here. This is what we got for the front facer. It's GoPro like. I, I bet it's better than the GoPro. It's not very wide, but the Mate 40 has the wide one on the front. It will be this. It's not terrible. And don't you dare mention that Zen phone. I know that flips to the front. It's a cool idea, but they haven't done other things that I need, like 7,000 frames per second. They're, they're close. I think they have 4K 120. No, this probably wasn't. I'll leave. And this. Sony can't do that. Oh. I didn't bring my mirror hack. That's a big pain in the ass about smartphones. You can't see it. So you're back to like Sony X3000 status. This is basically that now. Just a lot bigger, barely better. The audio's worse. You can't fit it in a pocket with all these things. There should be a case, a phone case, with a tripod screw on the bottom. Why does that not exist? It probably does. Why wouldn't it? I should have researched that. So who won the battle today? I'll just give my thoughts. I already know what's gonna happen. The Sony looks much better, obviously. Smoother autofocus, more dynamic range, it's more cinematic. If your girlfriend in the forest walking around, would she? I have to, a whole video is coming on that, ranting about models. <laughs> Fuck you all. The main advantage for the smartphone, obviously it's much smaller, it's much cheaper. They're still very expensive. And the slow motion is better technically that it can do more frames per second for pigeon slow motion footage. One day I'll get a seagull. I promise it. We got more range ability. I'm not gonna zoom. I ain't gonna show you because I'll, I'll do it. Okay, we're on the Huawei Pro. There's the guy, he drives a scooter. Sometimes he doesn't have a leash on that dog and the dog just follows him all through the night. I love it, they run together forever. Okay, we'll just show you the zoom. So we're at the widest. This is still a fairly big sensor. And then you slowly, okay, I messed it up somehow. We're starting again. This is the widest you can get. And now we're zooming in. It switches lens awkwardly and then it'll do it again soon. We're getting there. There, it switched again. You can tell like the quality gets terrible and then Okay, because it like it digitally zooms until it reaches the next lens. Oh, I could have positioned that better. That's pretty far. It's a 15 times zoom. That's where I come to feed the squirrels. Every comparison I've ever seen between like a red and a smartphone, you can always tell. Sometimes the smartphone looks better in the sense that it's actually sharp. Some cinematic people just they go for zero sharpness. I think they put Vaseline on the lens. They might. Like, oh, that's what cinematic is not. You ever see a movie? It looks like it's filmed in 12K. Grow up. So I'm gonna leave. Who won the battle? Who bought a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt for you? Subscribe for my video, say